Sidian wants to know, do I need an SD card for my goggles too when I get them? Or do they come with one that's good enough? No, I don't think they come with one. You need one. To record DVR. Um, you will need a good quality SD card because you're recording, you know, well, you're recording 1080p at least. Um, the O3 Air unit has to record 4K. So I guess the goggles card doesn't need to be as fast as the O3. But frankly, my advice would be to just buy a good, just buy all good quality fast cards because like they're not like that much more expensive. And the thing is, like, if you buy some fast cards and some slower cards, now you're going to be like, ah, I need an SD card. Uh, let me get one. Oh, shit. That's a slow one. So just like, I don't know. Again, maybe this is the uh, the attitude of someone who works with SD cards professionally and can't just can't deal with this shit anymore versus someone who, like, is a hobbyist who's trying to save money. But um, my policy is just buy. They should all be interchangeable. So like here we've got a 128 gig UHS-3 V30 for $13. I mean, come on. Here's UHS-1. Oh, that's not actually that better price. Don't buy that one. Buy this one. You know, uh, yeah. I would, I would hesitate on the Amazon basics. Just, I don't care what the specs say. So like, I think the U is UHS one good enough for four K? I would probably get the UHS three V thirty. Um, can we get like a? Sixty four gig U three V thirty. I don't know if PNY is a great brand. Oh, here we go. Oh, uh, this is the one. Oh no, see look. It's eleven dollars for the sixty-four gig. It's thirteen dollars for the hundred twenty-eight gig. Just get the hundred twenty-eight gig. And if you really want to, you could get something like this, which is three for fourteen. But like, I just don't think you want to skimp on SD cards because it's so annoying when you lose footage. And again, I may be speaking as a professional here, and a hobbyist might care less about that, but. It's so annoying when you lose footage because your SD card was shitty. Is it possible to get, I know Amazon can be sketchy sometimes uh, with certain products. Is it possible to get like fake SD cards from there? I know that you have fake USB drives, but I don't know. It's like fake SD cards. I guess thing. it, I mean, sure. I wouldn't rule it out, but like, like I always I know, look at who I'm buying from. Like with, the, with the flash drives, they let you like put data on it, but then it's not actually writing. And then you try to pull it off and it doesn't work. I mean, I don't know. It wouldn't surprise gotcha. me if that exists for SD cards, although I don't know. Gotcha. Um, like, uh, but this, like, who's selling this? This is the SanDisk store. Like, clearly this is legit. Like, if I go on Amazon and it says this is the official SanDisk store, I, I don't think I'm getting fake stuff. I'm, I think I'm buying from SanDisk. That's my, that's my take. If it's like, you know, some third-party seller, maybe. I would be more hesitant. Yeah, always look at who you're buying from when you buy on Amazon. So, uh, like, can we buy other sellers on Amazon? So I don't know why I would do this because it's more expensive. So this one, this one it is prime shipping. And that means that Amazon is doing the fulfillment. So that this store is mobile deals and i've never heard of them but amazon is super strict about their fulfillment um if you get too many returns or complaints amazon will just cut you off as a vendor and not let you do prime shipping anymore so uh, uh this mobile deals company i i mean i wouldn't buy from them because the official sandix listing is cheaper so i don't know what their problem is Maybe that's a 256 gig card and that's why it's more expensive. But the fact that this is prime shipping, where did it go? It, oh, there we go. The fact that it says prime there tells me that this is going to be fine because uh, if there, they were, yeah. There are two different kinds of prime. 
There's yeah. Prime shipped from from a from Amazon warehouse, and there's Prime shipped from retailers now. So you can ship directly from yourself and not the Amazon warehouse if you have Prime, if you make it in the right amount of days. Because this is what happened to my graphics card when I got scammed. I picked a what? Prime. I picked a Prime thing to order from when I ordered my graphics card, and still they still ship me a fake item. It, because and it didn't come from an Amazon fulfillment center. And I had then what to happened? wait three weeks. I had to do a credit card charge back for them to get the item back oh, that they sent Amazon me. Oh, Amazon didn't treat that as, like, fulfilled by Amazon and take it back? Correct. I oh. Well, that's interesting. I thought Prime was Prime. I thought Prime meant fulfilled by Amazon. That I didn't know you could anymore. get Prime if you weren't. Okay, so I guess f cancel what I just said. If it says fulfilled by Amazon then that's fine. Or if it's an official like SanDisk store, then that's fine. I mean, I would really hesitate to do other sellers then. That's interesting. Thank you, Plenty. I didn't know that. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Listen. Oh, this hurts me. Like, if you were a veteran... Ooh, this is risky. <laughs> if you're a veteran and people give veterans discounts and you use veterans discounts, cool. That's cool. Absolutely. You know, thank you for your service. But if you're a veteran and someone doesn't give a veterans discount and then you like rage because you feel entitled to a veterans discount. No, 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 no. And I, I know it's risky to say anything negative at all about veterans in this country. So like, but I feel like most of people in the military and other veterans would agree with me that this guy is a freaking shitbag. I don't know. If I'm wrong, I'll take the heat. <laughs> okay. So I think uh, just, just to be clear, I think you're suggesting that if it's fulfilled by Amazon, if it comes out of their warehouse and then something's wrong, they'll discover you right away. That's 100%. the whole benefit, right? Yes. So you might get the wrong item because they pulled it from a pallet and the pallet wasn't filled correctly, but that's on them, not you, and you'll get it right back. At, fulfilled by Amazon, they have a – I have never been disappointed in their return policy. They always and, – and I also know because Rotoriot sold through Amazon for a while – and they, Amazon made them jump th through hoops to keep their keep their fulfilled by Amazon and their prime like the amount of inventory and the shipping requirements that they had was ridiculous. So uh, anybody who is an official Amazon retailer and not like just a third party seller on Amazon, I feel like Amazon really keeps them in check. And the return policy, Amazon just will like be Amazon will just be like, hey, your customers sent us back a box of rocks. Here it is. We gave them their money back. Fuck you. And then the store is just stuck with a box of rocks and they can either stop selling on Amazon or they can accept the box of rocks. And that's why everything is like more expensive on Amazon because the vendors are a lot of times just getting screwed. But the customer, it's fantastic. <laughs> anyway. Um... Like I returned a freaking product that I, I, I accidentally threw out the box for the product. And I also was missing some of the accessories, but the product was like a $400 product. So I returned the product and I thought, I'll give, I mean, I'll give it a try. Like I'll return it. The worst thing they can do is say, Hey, you know, we can't take this back and they'll send it back to me and I'll keep it. And I didn't get a refund. And I was like, Oh, and then I contacted Amazon support via chat and I told him the situation. I didn't volunteer the information that I had left out some of the stuff. I just said, hey, I sent this back for a refund. Can you update me on the status? And the guy was like, oh, yeah, okay. There's been some issue, but here, here's your money back. And I was like, okay, thank you. 